there, it's Mimsy here. This is gonna be a little bit different video. I'm not gonna do a DIY today. I'm just going to kind of show you around my house and show you some of the holiday pillows that I've made over the years. But first, I wanted to say thank you to all of you who are subscribers here. I just recently hit 20K on my channel. So thank you to all of you who are subscribers. If your YouTube handle is not your name, I would love if you were to leave your first name when you comment so that I can kind of get to know people here on my channel. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and being here and leaving such nice comments. I get so many nice comments. That means so much. So. So I'm sitting here in my foyer. This is the first set of pillows I'm gonna show you. I made these years ago, and I don't do really any Halloween decorating. This is the extent of it. This trick or treat pillow, and then the pillow I have on my other chair, and I'll show you what that is, because this one is actually my very favorite. This is my favorite holiday pillow that I've ever made, because I'm a cat person and I just love it. I think that this little grumpy cat face is the cutest little face. I just love this pillow. So anyway, I'll link Link in my description box to the pattern for this. This is a gal, oh gosh, I can't remember her name now, but I'm gonna put the link here. This is my fave pillow. And then I have a couple other pillows here that I made. This one I made for springtime and I just appliqued these carrots on here and then I did free motion stitching around them. You can kind of see the, the free motion stitching. And then this one I also made in the spring and this is free motion stitching completely and I did kind of a free motion drawing of this rabbit. And I love this one but I feel like it looks kind of more like a rat instead of a rabbit, but I still love it. And I just think this is such a cool technique and I'd love to do a little bit more of this. I was inspired by this artist who does this, I believe he's in the UK, and he does actual portraits of people with this technique. This is another one that I did. This was clearly for Thanksgiving fall season. I made it with a burlap on the back. This I, I painted on here. This is a canvas fabric and then I just painted painted it with a white latex paint and then watercolored the pumpkin on there. I think I have a tutorial on that. I'll put a link to the tutorial if I have it. I did a whole bunch of Christmas pillows. I put pillows on pretty much all my furniture at Christmas time. I made some tiny little pillows for my dining room table chairs at one point. I've made a ton, a ton of pillows and I actually was thinking of opening a pillow shop and selling pillows. I still haven't gotten around to that and I've kind of changed my mind on that because I don't really want to be a retailer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start doing live workshops. That's why I'm making this video so that I can give you the link to my email list so that I can send you an email when I have live workshops coming out. The first live workshop that I'm gonna do is November 7th and it's gonna be very inexpensive. It's gonna be a $12 workshop on Zoom. I'm just making it really inexpensive so that I can get my feet wet as far as doing Zoom workshops because I've not done them before. And the first one is going to be how to make a pillow with an invisible zipper. So it'll be a one hour Zoom, it'll be 45 minutes of instructions and then 15 minutes of Q&A so you can ask questions and I'm, we'll see how it goes I might have questions you can ask questions throughout so it's going to be a sew along I'll send you a downloadable pillow pattern which I will normally charge $9.95 for but it'll be included in the workshop fee the $12 workshop fee you gather your own fabric of your choice and an invisible zipper and of course you have to have a sewing machine so this would be a great great place to start is with a simple throw pillow for your for your living room or wherever. If you want to get into that workshop, I have a link in the description box below for my email list. You get on there and I'll send you an email with the workshop information and how to get into that. So that's where I'm going to start with these workshops, but then after that, I'm thinking I'm going to start doing regular workshops, sewing workshops with slip covers and window treatments and upholstery and everything, home decor sewing, I think it'll work. When I learned 
learned how to do upholstery, I took upholstery at a night school and I there was one instructor and there were 15 students and we were all working on different pieces of furniture and we went once a week. Every week everybody was in a different spot with their project and she would just come around and instruct us individually on our projects. The workshops that I'm going to do, I'm going to suggest a, a certain style of furniture and then we'll work week to week on the piece together. We'll see how that goes, but I, th I think it, I think it'll work and they'll be live. So you'll be able to ask questions on the way and you'll be able to show me your piece and I'll be able to see what you're working on and give you tips and tricks. Workshops. We'll see how it goes. So if you're interested, please get on my email list. Um, it's linked in the description box below. Thanks so much you guys for subscribing. Thank you everybody for 20k. See you on the next one.